All right, everybody, welcome back to episode 13 of Outer Wilds. Hope you're all doing very well this fantastic day. And we're jumping straight back into the action tonight. We're going to be heading back to The Stranger. I know, shock, horror. We've been there for the last few episodes, and we are making more and more progress each episode. And back in the last episode, we were trying to work out how we can get down into the third and final archive and um, we found out that there are some, uh, quite a few of the inhabitants are uh, lurking in the shadows. So we need to try and work out tonight, first and foremost, how we can get around those once those lights are out. Is there a way that we can lure them out of their locations and sneak around them like we did um, with the first archive guy? Or is it more of a case that we need to find a way to use some of our um, other abilities such as um, breaking the, like the the boundaries and, and putting the fire down and going out like we found at the first archive there's uh, still so many questions to be answered and uh, the only way we are going to find out is by jumping right back into the action so without further ado let's go wake up it's a beautiful morning i know i've said it before but i just love the fact that like when you blink even blinking, the quantum moon disappears. Such detail. Um, we probably need to set a waypoint. Uh, let's go to room remote. And we want the village. I'll do. And away we go. Rather sit where you are now. I really have like a. I feel like I should have like a uh, a landing compilation of this game. <laughs> no sort of. I have no sort of um, regard for the well-being of my ship or anything on this game. I'm just like, yep, that's where we're going. Crash it in. Jump out. Job done. I think we um I think we just landed before Isaac Newton. I think we've traveled back in time. So gravity hasn't been invented yet, it'll be so I think that's how we landed on the ceiling. Pretty simple explanation. I'm planning on doing uh, the final series of The Walking Dead probably when I finish this Mika. And um, yeah, I have got um, House of Da Vinci 2 also on my uh, playlist. Probably not get around to that though until next year now, I wouldn't have thought. But saying that though, Walking Dead will only take us uh, about. Uh, two weeks, I would think. Normally about five chapters of The Walking Dead, so... Um, yeah. We might be able to squeeze House Da Vinci in before the end of the year. It all depends on how much... Um, uh, it all depends on how much more we've got, obviously, 
on uh, this fantastic game. I know Isaac didn't, just didn't create gravity, but it wasn't... Um, nobody really... Uh, he was the first one to really introduce the theory. All right, so we're going to spend this first loop just having a bit of a look around and seeing what we can see. Now, like I said, I don't know. I just don't know if there is somewhere where we can put down our lantern. No, actually, it's probably not going to be wise for me to just spend it looking because we might not find there might be something, but it might not. It might be a case that um, it's not until we actually get further down, um, actually into the well, maybe we might be able to find something. I don't know. So I guess it probably won't be worthwhile wasting our time too much looking for stuff in while the lights are still activated oh I'm out of practice for Call of Duty Zombies My days of playing nothing but Call of Duty Zombies are long gone. Stop. What I, what I still don't understand about this this race of people, though, is why they are so... They're not really hostile. I, I, I wouldn't say they're hostile. They just really don't want you to see what they have. I don't quite understand... Why they're like that? Does that make sense? Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. 
my only my my early kind of like thought process on why they keep why they don't want anybody to be here is because of what they did to get here themselves obviously they they sacrificed their entire home planet or their home moon um to actually get here listening Where's he going? Wow. There's obviously not stairs there. <laughs> I thought there were stairs, but it looked like like that. It looked like they just literally jumped up at me. That was uh, crazy. Once they charge, they can fly and go through collision. Oh man. This is what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to get drawn into a... I didn't want to get drawn into a... game of... randomly jumping off and trying to do stuff. Oh yeah, I'm, I wholeheartedly believe I'm doing the wrong approach, I'll be.
蛋了。Damn. Well, so what I'm trying to work out is how I can get past these guards. And what I was what I was thinking about for a start was rather than blowing out the lights going and, and exploring the, my my issue with that was if there's something I need to find on the inside then I'm not going to be able to find it until those guys die out right at the end. And then I can just obviously walk straight past them because they won't be there. Yeah, I mean... At the minute, I, we don't we don't actually know for sure, Mika. At the minute, though, I'm kind of hypothesizing that what we know is that they they basically destroyed and consumed their, all of their natural res all of their own their resources from their planet, chasing the um, the eye. And this is a simulation of their home world. And I feel like because of that, because of that fact that it's a simulation of their home world, they're like almost being very protective of it. As I said, they're not trying, they're not really trying to, like, hurt me. They just don't want me to be here. Yo, Atom, how's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Yeah. Um All right, I'm going to restart the loop because I just going to um No, we're right. we're not facing the fire. It's fine. No, nope. it is going to do that. Let's do it from here. Um I'm going to look over read back through all my notes at the minute on the ship log because I just feel like I'm missing something
Let's go on Pretzel Factory. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> L LB's always got her back whenever we have questions. Okay. Let's take a trip back. Back down memory lane. That's not it. Is that it? That's it. There we go. And... Um, I don't know what to do. Where, where am I going? Uh, I want my channel. Where's my channel? This is my homepage. Where's my homepage? <laughs> Alright, so we're looking at episode 11. Uh, 246. Yeah, you see, that's what we've got trying to figure out here. Why did the, the, why did the lamps go dark, or how do the lights? decoration and I can't get that one. It's right. a new one though. So that infers that um, see this is what this is what I don't get right. When we did this before in the archive, we skip forward some. There's the pedestal there. We place the artifact in there. And then we walk away here. Okay. Um, but we... The, the, thing, the thing I don't quite understand is, th in this instance, there is somewhere specific to place the, the artifact, right? When you look at the slide, the inhabitant just literally placed it on the floor. It's the new one, though. What? So, yeah. Have I missed a trick here that we can literally drop it anywhere? Or am, am I right thinking that we need to find somewhere to drop it? Start my timer. It'll be a bit. It'll be a bit off, but and just to not confuse LB this time, we will land on the ground. to defy gravity again.
Right. Away we go again. So the reason I, I did make a comment earlier, I think I made a comment earlier about maybe redoing the first archive. Um, the reason I said about that is I wonder if there's like there is somewhere else I can go in that first archive area. Till there, Evan. So I can drop it. Oh dear God. You really have to look at the floor though. Okay. I was gonna say, cause when I don't have the flame in the, in the ring world, I can look at like this direction it'll allow me to drop it. And that's what, that's what threw me. Okay. Time to go. I wonder actually, hold on. This opens up like a whole new world of opportunities, doesn't it? So first question now is... Are we seeing... Are we seen by this thing when we're in this mode? Well, I don't know, because I'm dead. <laughs> also, how do we end up with the artifact in our hands when we uh, we dropped it down below? Far, far enough away from it that I am. Yeah, no. It does still pick me up. Okay. It's our first experiment done. I'm sure there was a, an elevator over here somewhere, wasn't there?
Um. <laughs> you learned the hard way. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I guess I just gotta do. Let's go in the water then. Okay, back to the plan then. Let's go and. Let's go and turn off the lights. answered all my questions yet though. Like, I'm glad I know now how we can um, come down into this mode. Do we need to take our light with us? You know what I've just wondered though? I have just had another thought. What if they find my lantern? Will they extinguish it? Ah. three of them down there. Okay, well. That's the case. I feel like we need to use distraction techniques. Oh, they can kill you. <laughs> we need to play distraction techniques with the light then, I think. Okay. That's the water. Atom's playing with a, a Rot 3 cipher. <laughs> Again. Oh, fuck goodness. The 
Didn't you say last time, LB, you always jump from this first area? <laughs> I don't seem to uh I don't seem to be having too much uh, success with it. go left you can jump onto a rock right by the railing okay I'll try that the dam has blown its banks well, the back dam doesn't have banks does it it's um In today's episode of Outer Wilds, Nock jumps off a ledge and continually falls into water. You've never seen anything like it before. moved okay I wonder if I could like bring one of them up to here maybe maybe that's the play Is he still patrolling that area, or...? I say he, all the time. Interested by that though.
Son of a biscuit. Did it. We did it. Whew. <clears throat> All right, we've got about five minutes. Three slide rails here. Okay, number one. When the alarm rings, it sends like a message to their brain, and then that does something with their flame. And that teleports them, okay. But if they're dead... But if they've... Okay, so it's just telling me then if they're alive, it will teleport them. But if their body is dead, then they continue to do what they were doing before. So, but I think we already know that, don't we? That's what we've been seeing already, isn't it? Because all of their, for lack of a better term, all of their bodies are dead in the stranger already. So that's why they don't come back to... That's why they don't come back to the stranger when I set off the alarms. Because their physical bodies have died. Right? Right? I think that's what that's telling me. Okay, so this is showing 
I think this is this is showing when their experiments were starting to they were starting to work. And I think this is basically them being showing us that they were able to preserve their elders. Obviously, this um, inhabitant is quite old and weak, it appears. Hence, like they, they emphasize the fact, you know, that they've got a they've got a stick and they're like struggling to walk and haven't needed assistance. But they walk within the the area of where they can travel, and because they're in here. They were sent to their their physical self. That sorry, their their spirit or their their mental self was sent to the simulation. But at this point, this elder, it looks like their their physical self has died. Therefore, the elder is now permanently in the simulation. There's no going back. I think. I mean, again, I'm just sort of... This is just my thoughts on everything. Whether it's right or wrong, I honestly don't know. But we've got some more here about the, the eye. So again, this is them. Seeing the eye. But I think this, this inhabitant here has sort of foreseen the destruction and devastation that the eye is going to cause. And I think this is the realization that obviously they have sacrificed their home moon and they have sacrificed all of their resources to pursue this 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 signal only to find out that obviously it's death and destruction. And then this is almost like what we saw on the um, on the pictures, isn't it? When um, when the uh, we we found like the burnt slide reel rooms, and the pictures kind of changed. This is almost like what they changed to. They changed from like like the nice kind of inhabitants like this to like white eyed, almost evil looking inhabitants. So this is them burning down their shrines to the eye. And then they're constructing this vault. Oh, they're sending... So they constructed some sort of weapon or something almost. And they sent it towards the eye to... They encased the eye to... So they encased the eye to stop the signal so that others wouldn't travel here. Right? And then they just sort of took up location here in the solar system. So that's interesting though because does that mean then that that must mean then the this this race of creatures came to our solar system after the nomai then and that would does this explain then why we can't does this explain why we can't see or even um identify the signal of the eye Because surely with us having a signal scope and Yeah, but the The Nomai originally came here based on the signal of the eye though, didn't they? And then they spent the rest of their living days trying to find it again. Isn't that right? Or have I got my wires crossed? So, are we saying then the Nomai came to our solar system first, and then at some point shortly afterwards, this race came, and then they 
protected the signal of the eye so nobody else could detect it. What's interesting here, though, is if this race of creatures has if they have surrounded the eye to hide its signal and if that is still in place can uh, as catastrophic as it may be can we break the eye out And is that what's is that what is hidden in the locked up constraint container thing? Hmm. Hold on, though, that's this isn't just a picture of our solar system, though, is it? Because if we look... I think I can bring my mouse in. Here, can I? You look at the, the cluster at the bottom left, right? That's their solar system. So we're technically looking at like four different solar systems here. I, that's probably not of any sort of any form of interest or, or any sort of relevance at this point. Obviously, we're only interested in the there's one in right in the middle, which is our solar system. Um, to answer your question, I would have thought warping was faster than speed of uh, speed of the signal. So maybe then. If if you're you're posing that question to me, I'll be maybe instead this race of creatures was in our solar system before the Nomai. They shut off the signal, but the signal was I I, I don't know. Does if if the signal like continues to travel? Um, after uh, te technically sound can only travel so far but obviously we're not talking about sound we're talking about a signal but would the signal still travel even after it's been disabled so potentially this race of, pe of creatures could have come here first and then shut down the signal but the nomai still picked up on that signal but then if that was the case surely the source of the signal would be where the nomai locked onto to travel to the solar system Because let's say, for instance, like this this race, um, they shut down the signal. Surely the Nomai would only lock onto the signal where they were able to identify it. So if, like, say, let's say the signal travels up to, you know, it's really kind of like annoying me that I can't um, do this and I should be able to pick it up. 
No, I can't. It's uh, unfortunate. So, to what we'll do instead. Let's do... Um, let's do... What we love to do... Arts and crafts with knock. So let's say, right, the... Um, so the, the, the creatures have, like, disabled the signal here, right? They've disabled the signal here. But the, let's say that the signal still travels, like, here and here. I'm just drawing, like, this is, like, the radius as it, like, goes, protrudes out and out and out further, right? So they've disabled the signal, and let's... Let's say the Nomai have picked up the signal, like they've identified the signal here, okay? There's no signal coming here from the center anymore. So if they locked onto a signal here, surely the Nomai would just travel to here and not to our solar system. Because this is, this area here, is the source of the signal where they've locked onto. Not this one, because it's been disabled. Hmm. Yeah, they'd still be able to identify which uh, direction, but of course they'd get to a point where they'd almost hit it going the other way. I, I don't know, maybe they could pinpoint. Maybe, maybe they would, would be able to pinpoint where it came from. So this thing here is quite interesting. This thing here is almost reminiscent of the, tops of, the top of the tower. But I don't think it is. The top of the tower, more more to the point, is like when you go up to the top, there's like four circles that um, this, they appear to reference another location. Um, and then there was like the spiky bits out of out the top for each location. Now, I don't know if that was just a way that the the tower could communicate with the other locations where this, cre this race of creatures could travel into the simulation or if there was more to it, but... Yeah, just spitballing more than anything. And of course, that is... Is there anything else to find here? That's the big question. Nope, we have to play something there to go up to here. So make sure there's no more slide reels. In the stairs up there, but I think they're just decorative. I don't think there's. I think it's just like a. Almost like a decorative show of. How far this actually goes.
So that's obviously like where we need to disable. These are like the three archive rooms. One, two, and three. This one's kind of different though, isn't it? To the rest. Uh, sorry, not this one. That one over there is kind of different where we can actually walk to that archive from there. All of these ones though are surrounded in actual water where we jump in here. And... Uh, it's game over. It'll be game over in a minute, actually, because the uh, the water should be coming in any moment now. So, um... Anyway, let's just jump in the water, because there is no more we can do here. The only thing... I'm not really... too sure about... here... is... it's shown us that... if the... If the alarm bells, if the alarm bells sound and their physical bodies are still alive, they get transported back to here, where they wake up and they deal with whatever, right? Um, but unlike the, we already kind of knew that. I mean, we didn't know it exactly, but we did kind of know it because we've rung the alarm bells and when... Yeah, it was the first one I did, LB. Um, when we did it before... We kind of sorry. We accidentally found it out because of the um, my brain is switching off. We accidentally found it before when the um, we kind of experimented to see what would happen if we walked all the way up to one of those alarm things. And obviously the alarm goes off, it gets more and more intense, and then eventually wakes the, the, the living the living vessels, the, the, the bodies that are all, or the, the physical forms that are still alive, it wakes them up. But yeah, it, it is just waking them up, because I, I guess the whole point of traveling to the simulation is that you are effectively falling asleep, right? I think that's... Um, a fair comment, and that's how I kind of perceive that. Um, but yeah, like like I say, I, I don't know. Yes, I did, uh, and no, I haven't even tried to look at what you've been typing, um, Atom. So. Uh, no, I haven't deciphered a, a single thing that you've written. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to uh, cipher it. Alright, well. Well, well, well. Yeah, we the, the collision ended right at the end that... Um, when we got down there the first time, LB, if you remember, and yeah, that's where we kind of ended up.
map of involved with contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows strange inhabitants on the eye of the universe. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye signal. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after the bearer dies. Okay, so there's two ways then to enter the simulation. Interesting. Just alarm bell failing to wake up one of these strange inhabitants. Yeah, because I like I like I've like like I I've kind of alluded to. I believe that's because their their physical self has died. But that's interesting that. If as long as you as long as they've got the artifact um, on their person, even when they die, they go to the simulation, which is it's, it's, it's good in a way because that obviously that that's that they've almost like found a way to live forever, almost. And obviously, of course, the way things happen or the way things unfold that. Obviously, doesn't happen. Um, because of, you know, the uh, the ring world kind of getting destroyed and, and bits and pieces. So. Okay, so I think we now need to, well, we need to check out this lake a bit more, don't we? Because that's our only, at the minute, uninvestigated item. So the real question now, I guess, is have we learned enough to disable these locks? <coughs> Excuse me. I believe uh, it's world domination.
Where have you been? You've been gone for 300 hours, Mika. I can't believe you've been gone for so long. So we know the first one is disabled via that. Okay. So that's two. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say there is a way to disable the lights. But I don't know what that will be. Unless we can... I don't remember seeing any of the Nomai in the uh, slideshow, Atom. So, stairs, final boss once again. Oh, I have to. The only thing I don't like about one of the, like the annoyances of this is um, no, they're not Nomai. They are the um, we don't know what the race is called, but this they're the inhabitants of the Ring World.
The annoyances will go away once I figure out more things. Once I figure out more things, the game will be over. And technically, once the game is over, it will no longer be an annoyance. <laughs> I know, I know you didn't mean that will be at all. I thought he was making a map like last week, Adam. And what are you planning on playing homage to? Okay, I want to try something crazy here. I have no idea if this will work or not. I'm... Probably gonna say it won't, but if you don't try, you never know. It's Coldplay once said in the song. wasn't what I was referring to. <laughs> what happens if we combine these two things together? This is the crazy thing I want to try.
Yeah. Things are going a little sideways. No! I don't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. So I do want to do though. I've been watching too many kid shows, learning their annoyingly catchy melodies. Expert parking on my, my part of the raft look. Just want to clarify, LB likes it when I get an idea. I hate it when Adam gets an idea, so don't give Adam any ideas. Adam's ideas normally result in me um, being stuck for many hours at a time. <laughs> Although, to be fair, he's, the, the last one I, I played, the, his last idea that I played wasn't too bad. It was tolerable. Alright. Here's another idea as well. Doze off in front of a in front of a fire while holding something shiny. I hear it takes you to uh, some good places. Instantly say my idea was flawed.
my idea is flawed even. Not was flawed, is flawed. Uh. I guess then the... Uh, I didn't know if... I didn't know if the light switch off was, for lack of a better term, global. Or if it was just isolated to the the village, and I'm guessing the answer is it's isolated just to the village. So, next idea will be Yeah, it's like it's really weird like what normally when that happens to me if you pause and you um unpause it will fix it straight away. I kind of, I've never read into it, but I assume it's Twitch's way of trying to bring you back to live because it, it slightly increases the, the playback speed. Um, as well as um, affecting the audio. Oh, really? I'm at that point already. Mm, okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I, I know. I've, I've I've been in stream I, when I before I even like realised what it was doing. I've been in streams before. And I was like, man, the the audio sounds really off pitch and off key, and it sounds terrible. But yeah, it, it ever so slightly increases the playback rate when you've had a you suffered from like a buffering to try and get you back up to up to speed without actually missing out on anything, which is quite interesting, really. But it is really frustrating, especially if you're. I mean, some people might not even like notice, but for me, I always identify when the pitch shifts, and it really frustrates me. Well, I, I don't know. I can't answer that question. It's time to take a minute to be mindful. Or not. I ain't got time for that.
I have numerous issues with uh, VLC, to be fair, at times. But VLC, I'll, I'll be honest, VLC is probably one of the only media players um, that handles my uncompressed files really well. If I ever want to, like, go through my, you know, 150 gig uncompressed raw footage just to try and find anything, it, it's the only browser, that, uh, the only media player that really handles it well. All of the others really struggle. Or just give me a black screen. I never actually tried opening one in uh, Chrome, to be honest. Oh, you son of a biscuit. How do you do that? Do you just do um, do you just do a, like an open file dialog, or do you manually manually do the web page when you want to um, when you want to do something there? LB. Okay. All right, attempt number 7,362. Knowing what we now know. I've just, just thought about something really as well, just like another observation or yeah, I suppose you call it an observation. Um, I guess this race of uh, creatures has a very short eyesight. And the reason I say that, right, is because we know that like there are these creatures are in each of these like upper towers here, watching over this well, right? But none of them seem to pick up on the fact and identify that there is a light moving around here that isn't one of their own. Kind of feel like their uh, eyesight probably isn't too great. Don't know that I want to try jumping up there. What on earth is that? That's a really... Oh, it's the projection screen. That's got nothing on the back of it.
I'm tempted, but I'm pretty sure it's not the right thing to do. Because there's no... No, there's no way to get any more height there. The geometry is slow for a start, but then after that, there's nothing. Alright, so I want to go back over here as well, because now that we have like this... Over here, is there anything else we can do? I think we've pretty much covered everything off here, but I just want to make double sure that is the case. Yeah, because if we drop down there, we can't get back up to here, can we? pretty cool detail that if you stand with that in view you can actually see what's right in front of you it's probably more of a visual bug than anything but it's still um, still pretty cool <laughs> because you're looking at that through there it assumes So, the only thing, the only thing I got here is like disabling the lights, but I genuinely don't know how to do that. I don't think it would be if you was playing it, Mika, if I'm honest.
just clutching at straws. Out of mind. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? So, Where's that light at the top coming from? Okay, um, I don't know if I've got enough time, so let's restart the loop, but, um, I do have an idea. And again, I might be barking completely up the wrong tree. But it's worth a shot. Right. 
bedtime reminder. Artifact, please. Go. Hopefully, this is the right place. Okay, that's step one.
Man, I could be a freaking taxi driver on this ring world now. Look at these, look at these skills. These raft skills. No. Can't do it to LB. Alright. Doesn't Windows have a... Isn't, there's nothing on Windows, no? There's a... Th there's oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, there's a thing called Emojipedia, really. Well, every day is a school day, I guess. Right, that was step two and three. Step four now. to light at the top. Alright, well. You know what though? It's it's part of the solution.
Ah, uh, no, it's not. It's just, uh, for a moment it it looked like a lot like loads darker over there a moment ago. It's not coming from this side, but. Where is that light coming from? Got to be somewhere. Excuse me? <sighs> That's frustrating. I'm press the factory. Welcome back. in here before, haven't we? I think this was just them.
I'll do... Well, <sighs> I do kind of believe it's we got to disable that light from up top. Yeah, I know how to do the first. I knew how to do two of them. Um, it's just the one with the. We're just trying to work out the ones. Um, <laughs> just trying to work out the one that's got like the alarms on it. Sure, there's a way into there. This whole area is just shrouded in darkness. That's just the way into the uh, this area, isn't it? Yeah, this just extinguishes the lights. Rules of unknown within simulation. Um, I can put my lantern down and I can enter like a glitched version 
of the simulation. And that I can drop between the loading, the, the fake loading screens to end up in a location where I can remove uh, one of the locks. I can also... I can also tele... Well, not teleport. I can also teleport between different areas using... The, um... Like, hand-looking statues. Oh, I can only do that when I'm... When I'm... When I don't go outside the bounds of the simulation, because you need the light to be able to do that to travel. Um, being outside of the bounds of the simulation doesn't stop you from being, ident being identified by the um, the alarms. Uh, we also learnt that if we if we die or go to sleep near a flame, we enter the simulation. And that if the alarm bells ring or we're inside the simulation, we get sent back to the ring world. I.e. we get woken up. don't the, my I guess my thing is I don't see and I, I may just be like missing something really simple but I don't see how learning what I learned in the last archive room is of any benefit to me The, for lack of a better term, the boundary break thing obviously shows us how we can um, use the lock combination to put the platforms in the right place. And the second archive room that we found shows us that we can drop onto the loading, out the loading screen to access the other area but I just don't know what I just don't know what the other one was trying to tell me that I don't already know
I'm completely lost. Did it. Not sure how that helps me. I kind of just like walked as far forward as I could. And then I kind of realized that actually the... Um, the entrance is like a little, it's not right at the edge, it's set back a little bit, so I took a couple of steps back. What's interesting as well, like an, an ob interesting observation, is the, even when we're like in this boundary break kind of mode, the alarm systems still work and detectors right so Not having the artifact with us when the alarm's ringing off makes no difference whatsoever.
Can I extinguish this in this? Yeah, I can. So the minute we turn anything on that, it sends it away. If there's like anything, that's just about the secret, isn't it? Yeah, that's just about the secret that we already know about. the dam breaking. Stairs, man. Why well, they got to be so difficult? That's the, um, this is the inside of the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. I don't know that wasn't very descriptive, but it's the inside of the um I was actually looking I, just just to see if I could mess about a little bit, just to see whether or not I could um, extinguish the, the candles on top of the elevator.
Okay. Okay. Something interesting did happen. Now, oh, we've got it. Yes. I just realized. What time are we running at? Right. All right. I realized what the video was showing me. going on Ligov? Yes, you picked a very exciting time to join the stream. Got a hair in my mouth or something, I apologise. We have just made an amazing discovery. One which has been puzzling us for a very long time in this stream. Welcome along though, it's great to see you here again. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough on YouTube. in there pretty well this time. Okay. Let's go and break all three of these seals. Do you know what though? I mean, I don't want to risk it, but I've got doubt in my mind. Now, obviously I agree with LB's comment previously that we was, when we discovered that we was near the end of the loop. Um, but if we're, no, okay, no matter. I was gonna say, if we're dead, then does something different happen? However, I'm assuming that um, the same principles apply. So if the flame goes out and you are dead, then that just kills your uh, conscious self, whatever we're gonna call the, when you're kind of like, it's your brain that's active as opposed to anything else. So, all right. You've not watched the Let's Play since the DLC was announced? 
Well, I'm glad you're enjoying. <gasps> we can almost speed run this bit now. And I did say almost because it's not very well optimized. Gotta be very careful though not to die. Because I think if I die it's game over, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I want to try it. I want to try dying, see what's happening, but I don't want to try it at the same time. Nock was silent as he began to put the pieces of the puzzle together and make his way to hopefully unlocking the big chamber at the top. You know what? I don't even need to do this because I know what the code is. It's star um, three quarter moon weird oval shaped star so yeah I could have probably I can do this actually without um, having to go into this mode and there's my SQL crashing the party as always at midnight See, even LB, LB's even got emojis for the code look. <laughs> That's bonkers. Alright, here we go. We don't hear it. We don't get woken up because we can't hear the sound. That's fantastic. All right. Moment of truth. So what's interesting to note here, and I'm going to, I'm going to pause, I know it's going to mess my timer up, but what's um, I'm going to pause. what's interesting to note here, though, is that this race made it so that you had to die to learn the secret. It kind of brings like a whole new meaning to like taking it to the grave, doesn't it?
Hi. Who are you? This is pretty cool that um, like the know my the know my talk to us through text and these got these this creature talks to us through like videos. So I guess we're going to find out what actually happened. He turned it off or sorry, it turned it off. And then they imprisoned him. Him, it. And then submerged the prison underwater. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying not to say he all the time. Now we're telling our story. the gnome I came after. And they ended up, okay, so they warped Dark Bramble. And that's when they shot their escape pods out. Okay. The interloper had that. Yep, yeah, okay, so as we thought before, the interloper did kill the Nomai because the ghost matter exploded. So what you're basically saying is it'd be pretty interesting to come back a little bit later and do this then, LB. Oh, this is the full version, is it? That's a really interesting detail, though. It's a really interesting detail that... So what now? I'm the prisoner? I 
don't know who's sending it back for me. Oh, sorry, they are, they're sending it back for me. Where did, where did where did they go? Did they go up the the elevator? Or is that it? Are they literally just like that's it? We're um I mean I guess what's kinda of happened there is like they're they're saying like we're gonna go off together in the distance and it's like the last two surviving well not the last two surviving but obviously that creature is technically the with everything that's gonna we know that happens in in the the ring world that creature is technically the um like the last surviving Inhabitant, right? Okay. Um, so, I am also guessing this is a way out of the, um, out of here, right? It's a way to extinguish your flame. All right. Well, there we go. There we go. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I appreciate that, LB. Like I've said uh, throughout this entire playthrough, I've appreciated like everybody who has been here on like the streams and everything. I've really appreciated the fact that, um, you know, nobody has really spoiled anything for me on this game. Everyone's been like really well behaved and keeping things to themselves or as Atom has uh, done uh used um a load of undecipherable text that i can't read while i'm streaming so yeah i do appreciate everybody um for that so the prisoner showed me a vision for the actions that they that they took that resulted in their internal confinement i use a vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner oh okay well, I appreciate, you know, the fact that Atom even used that for a start. So, yeah, there we go. Our blue section is completely finished off. Which means, tomorrow night, tomorrow night we get to head back uh, to try and remember what we were doing about three, four, five episodes ago. Um, 
And I will be completely honest. Got a pretty solid lead to go on. Um, I have a pretty interesting idea of how uh, how we may be able to get to the sun station. Um, which came to me, and uh, I won't lie, it came to me from um, something I saw interesting on my uh, one of my previous episodes. And um, I've got a, a pretty good hunch of how we get past something to get there. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow night, guys, because that's where we'll be uh, heading tomorrow and uh, trying to pick up and just trying to finish off these um, last couple of bits and pieces. Seems you've got to try and catch up for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I can't remember when the DLC, what episode we started the DLC, to be honest. Um, I mean, we're on 13 now, so it will be... Or it will be an 8 or 9, possibly. Well, let's just... Uh, let me just have a real quick look. Um, let's have a look. In that case, Pope. Okay, so part eight, we were still doing stuff on the Ash Twin. Yeah, so part part nine was the start of The Stranger, so it's taken us um, five episodes to do the DLC. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Let's, uh, let's all have a, a nice little round of applause for finishing the DLC and The Stranger. Uh, like I said, we'll be back tomorrow night, guys. Getting back on with the um, regular story. I don't imagine we've got too much more to go now. Um, so if uh, things go our way tomorrow, we could potentially... I mean, I don't know, but we could potentially be looking to finish it tomorrow. Um, I would assume main story and everything will be at least done by the end of this week. Um, if we don't finish off tomorrow and I feel like we're close, then Saturday night will probably end up being a, uh, a bonus out of wild stream to see if we can't um, finish up but thank you very much everybody for tuning in as always i really do appreciate your support and until next time i've been knock you've been awesome stay safe take care all that usual sort of stuff until next time happy gaming my guys thank you very much